So we've looked at table properties using multiple pr tables, centering tables, centering objects or text in cells. So, and, and you have to remember that this is using tables is the way that the New York Times, CNN, USA Today, TV Guide, everybody made all websites from tables for years and it's, it's, it's a quick easy way not uh, nothing's ever quick and easy but it is a way to whip together a website so we're going to whip up a table website right now before your very eyes so here we go this bring in mr flash presentation guide over here again and here we go we're just going to make a table and it's going to be easy we're just going to have a page and in the page we're just going to have a header and we're going to have a footer and over here we're going to have a place for our links and then we're going to have some content right here now I'm going to slow down here because for any website uh, whether you're using tables or CSS, if you can do this right the first time and if you plan it out well, then you're ready to go for a four-page website, a hundred-page website, but you want to plan this page out very well. And I've done work for clients where sometimes it takes 10 or more hours just to figure out this first page. Because once this page is done, then it's all about file save as file save as and you'll see here in a second here we go we're gonna make a whole website with links so let's uh, get out of flash go into Dreamweaver let's make a new HTML document and right off the bot bat I'm gonna go insert table into our new HTML document this thing's gonna have three rows and two columns I'm going to make it a thousand pixels wide. I'm good to go with that. I'm going to center our table, merge these two cells up top. Let's make that the header, we'll make it one. Uh oh, that happens. Sometimes you click in the cell and type, and you meant to click down here, so I'm going to make it 100 pixels tall. Give it some background color. And this come down here. This make this cell for our links. This make the width of that 200 pixels wide. This make the height 300 pixels. I'd make it taller, but I want to keep it in the video so you can see it. And that should be good. There we go. And then for our footer. I'll come down here. I'm going to make that one cell. We'll merge those cells and let's make it 100 pixels tall. Not zero, 0, but 100. There we go. Let's give that some background color. Notice I'll go to background color, take the eyedropper up here to the header, and select that color that works. I'll click over here to where my links are going to go. Maybe make that a yellow just for the heck of it. There's our basic structure there. Now this type in some links. Um, I'm going to call this ABC Manufacturing for my title. And I'm going to save this file. File save as the main page of any website should be called, well, I'm going to say 99.999% of main web pages on the internet are called index.html. And you can use .html, you can use .htm, they will both work. But I tell you what, use one or the other, love it, marry it, use it forever. Because if you direct a link towards index.htm, and it's in reality index.html, you will not go to the right page unless the appropriate one 
is selected for your link. So here we go. I'm going to save the file. Index.html. I'll save that file. And let's just start typing our links. And I'm going to call this link home. And I'm going to say page one. I'm going to say page two. And then I'm going to say page three. That's pretty much all I want to do. I want to have a link that goes home, a link to go to page one, and we may as well put some titles up here. Let's go up here in the header, align that to center, and I'm going to say home here. And just for the heck of it, let's add a heading one tag. I go up here to there. In the properties panel, I select the text, go to format, H1. By default, that makes the text big, bold, and black. Let's add a link. This, here's how we add a link in Dreamweaver. I select the text in the properties panel. I come over here to the link and I type in index.html. I hit enter return on the keyboard. There's my link. Let's go to page one. I highlight page one and I'm going to type in page one one no spaces dot html return enter on the keyboard let's go to page two type in page two dot html enter return on the keyboard finally i select page three page three dot html enter return on the keyboard now um, now the cool thing here is notice when I click on home it says index.html page one page one.html now when you're creating web pages never use spaces D don't do it never do it you can use uppercase lowercase letters never start an HTML file document with any uh, weird character like question mark pound sign dollar sign don't do it if you're going to use uppercase letters, just remember it for a lifetime because links are case sensitive as hell. So always, if you're going to use uppercase, remember when you do it, but never use spaces ever, ever. Our home page is complete. So here we go. Now let's make our page one and page two and page three. Here's how simple it is. I'm just going to go file, save as, and I'm just going to call this page page1.html. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to change home. I'm going to change home to page one. And I'll save. And just for the heck of it, so that we can see this is working visually, I'm going to change the background color. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to save the file. Then I'm going to go file, save as. And I'm going to call this page 2.html. Change page 1 to page 2. Give this cell a different background just so visually we can see if it's working. And then I'm going to save that file. Then I go file, save as page 3.html. Save. And I change the 2 up here to a 3. And this changed the background color just so that we can see if it's working save that file and notice up here at the top of Dreamweaver we've gone file save as file save as but notice notice here's page three page two here's page one and here's our index whenever we went file saved as oh oh, oh what happened to index index just looks like this we have a boo-boo going on I'm gonna to go back to page one and go file save as and I'm going to call page one index. I must have overwritten it. Save or replace. Yes. We're going to replace that. We will call this 
home.html change the background color just so that we can know if it's working and we will save that page so now if we preview in the browser oh oh notice my links are blue and underlined but if I click them nothing happens I can go to live view and see what it's really going to look like in the browser if I click my links here nothing happens the only way I'm going to be able to see if this works is if I preview it in the browser so I go over here preview and opera that's what I'm going to do here's my page I'm in index.html you can see it right there I go to page one page two page three and back to home there you go. That's how easy it is to uh, hook this thing up. And that's why it's so important to plan your site out up front because if you get your index done correctly, if, you're, if all of your pages are going to kind of sort of look the same, which is kind of sort of a good idea for as far as your workload goes, then it's just file, save as, file, save as, file, save as, and you throw in different content over here. Or if you're going to have different segments, you've got sports, you have entertainment, you have personal, you have classified. Well, you might have 100 classified pages, but they all have a certain look. So you make one, and then you make that whole group look like your pre-planned first page, and there you go. Again, you may have many questions, and going from video to video sometimes doesn't get it. So I'm Bill the Geek. Give me a call for a one-on-one -on -one private session.